The Larapinta Trail, it begins. I've got 230 kilometers to walk to Red Bank Gorge. I'm starting here in Alice Springs and I am so damn excited. The plan is to walk about 25 k's to Simpsons Gap campsite. That should keep up my average k's for the trip. I'm planning to do the end to end in nine days, which is about 25 to 30 k's a day. So we'll try and knock that out. Let's do this. There seems to be like a fire off in the distance there. I don't know if you can see the smoke. I'm hoping it's not anything too crazy. There's Alice Springs, which was roughly where I started. I'm a bit over there. I come along all these ridges and I'm at the highest point of the hike so far. Look at this. Pretty close to my first campsite though for the hike. So let's get there. Made it into the first official campsite of the Larapinta, Wallaby Gap. I've got a little shelter here. Uh, there's a water tank just over there and it's a toilet a bit further back. So yeah, stoked to get in, 14 k's done. Got a fair while to go, but it's been beautiful so far and this is supposed to be the worst section. So <laughs> it gets me pretty excited. Knocked off about 22 k's so far. Pretty stoked with that, considering I started around midday. It's incredible out here. Honestly, guys, come hike the Larapinta. Look at this, little oasis in the desert. A little rock wallaby. Hello. Day one done, 25 Ks in the books. Uh, I've made it to Simpsons Gap campsite, but uh, yeah, I'm all set up. Thanks to Outdoor24, as always, for the setup. This is one of the huts, Simpsons Gap Hut. Pretty nice. Happy with how today went. Uh, body's feeling great. There's only one issue at the moment, and that is, you can probably see it a little bit in the sky. There's a lot of smoke. And uh, we've got a message from the rangers here at camp. They popped in. There's a potential they're gonna close the trail, which is devastating. Fingers crossed the fire gets um, under control because that would be very, very upsetting if the trip got cut short after after one day. I'll see you in the morning. We'll see how that goes and um, hopefully I can continue on. Okay, day two officially begun. No smoke in the sky. I think they've got the fire under control. So stoked about that. I'm heading to Jay Creek campsite tonight, or a bit further. We'll see how the day goes. But that fire seems to have started back up again, and that is not far from me. So it's slightly worrying, but um, I guess there's nothing I can do but keep going, and, and hopefully it's dealt with. Alrighty, made it to J Creek campsite. I'm not gonna stop here tonight, but I am going to have about a 30 minute break. I've decided to um, push on to the Ridge Camp. I'm hoping it's pretty cool. Uh, should make it for sunset, it's another 8Ks. I've done 29 so far. Problem is it's up a big mountain, so <laughs> I'm gonna have a quick break here, maybe 20, 30 minutes, and then I'll push on and see if I can get up there for sunset. looks like that same fire has started up again. I've seen it start and die about three separate times today. I can smell the smoke right now. It's very close to me. So I'm a bit worried, but I don't know. It seems to just go out after about an hour each time. There's no point in turning back. I've just got to hustle and get to where I'm going and, and hope for the best. So, oh well, <laughs> let's go. I've made it to the turn off. You can either take the low route, which is completely flat to Miller's Flat campsite or you can take the high route, which goes up there. Heard there's a campsite up there and I don't think I can just not go up there and see it. So I'm gonna try my best to get up there before sunset. I've got about an hour and a half and I don't think it's gonna be an easy climb. I think it's been very technical, so. Wow, look at this view. Oh my gosh. I've climbed up from way over there, but the views are incredible. I'm not even at the top yet. Oh my gosh. I've just made it to the summit of the ridge that I'm on. Holy crap. Look at these views. There's a bit of smoke over there. I'm really hoping that that's under control. But uh, this is where I finished my day. Just back here where I've come from is a little tent site and uh, we'll wait for sunset here. Wow. 
what a day. 37 kilometers done. All set up at camp. I'm not sure I've ever camped at a cooler spot. Just surrounded by mountains, up on this huge ridge, sun setting. Come on, that is so epic. <laughs> That's it for day one. Uh, I'm heading over to Stanley Chasm in the morning, which will be good, got my food dropped there. Um, but I'm gonna enjoy the sunset and then have a good night's sleep. This is Levin Bay. So I'm just chilling in my tent here and there's a bushfire. I think it's about four kilometers away, down, down there. Um, but I'm a little worried. Sun has just set. I might have to pack up and go if this gets any closer. Just woke up to an incredible sunrise on top of this ridge. It was so windy last night. I had to take my tent down and just sleep in it collapsed. I was warm enough with my sleeping bag and my liner and I got a, enough sleep I think even though I was up and down a bit with the wind. It's still very windy and cold but look at this freaking sunrise view. Oh my gosh it is incredible. Day three begins. What a trail. I'm just doing the final descent down from the place where I slept last night and this is so damn technical. I've just come from all the way up there. Um, pretty sketch, but a lot of fun as well. Almost down to the bottom. Flowing water. Fancy that. It's not much of it, but it's flowing, which is kind of weird to see out here. This is awesome. Just made it into Stanley Chasm. Oh, this morning's been a lot more technical with a lot more vert than I was expecting. It's only been seven Ks, but it's taken me about two hours. Um, but I'm about 500 meters, I think, from the tourist site with the cafe, my drop box, all the good stuff. So excited to get in there and uh, chill out, take a load off. I'm very hungry. I ran out of food last night. That was my last calories that I had for dinner. Um, and this has taken it out of me this morning. So definitely keen to get a good feed in. Got in, found my food box. This is like heaven to me right now. Oh, let's get into it. <laughs> Alrighty, I had a solid, ended up being like two and a half hours at Stanley Chasm. Charged up my devices, had a couple of big feeds <laughs> and restocked. And uh, yeah, now I'm back on the trail. Got about 10 Ks till I get to Brinkley Buff. I was chatting to a few other end-to-enders at Stanley Chasm and they were saying how amazing Brinkley is. So super excited to get up there before sunset, set up for another awesome, wick awesome wicked view um, at camp. Hello birdies. Well, I've just been climbing for the last few Ks. Super steep, made it to this lookout. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. All right, I've spotted Brinkley. There she is, about four Ks away till I get to the campsite. You can see I've got to go down there and follow the trail up this ridge. But wow, that looks incredible, cannot wait to get there. Oh, I can just tell the views are gonna be insane tonight. Holy oh, Made it to Brinkley Buff. Massive rock pile here. This is incredible. Look at the views to the ranges out there. Look at this tent site. It's completely protected from the wind. So I might set up there, um, but I'll have a little look around. Ah, oh, so stoked to get in. Bring on sunset. Alrighty, so I'm in this really high rock wall. And we've got the tent. we got the ranges over there behind me. And um, pretty happy with this spot. Way more protected than where I was last night, where I got bloody almost blown off the mountain. So should be pretty uh, pretty safe here. Now we just wait for the sun to set, and um, it's going to be epic. I know that I know that for a fact. <laughs> Thank you. 
I've just packed up here at Brinkley Buff. I'm the last one to leave. There was a, um, like six other campers here last night, but I slept in. <laughs> Had my beanie over my eyes and I didn't see the sunrise or anything. So I'm leaving quite late today, but should only be about 22 k's to cover to Hugh Gorge. That's my plan for today. And talking to some of the other guys though, they reckon this is probably the hardest section of the trail. We're going straight down the side of this. So it looks like a cliff, but just zigzags all the way down. So you guys were wondering uh, what kind of pace I aim for on these um, big days on the Lara Pinta. Generally, I'm trying to hike an average of 5Ks per hour throughout the day. Some days that are really technical and hilly, that's just not possible. Uh, like, that, like yesterday, um, I think I averaged about four or just over. But if I'm hiking some really nice trail like this, which is super flat, for the most part, pretty hard packed and non-technical, I'm moving at like 6Ks an hour. I'm hustling, but um, that feels pretty natural to me. And I know that I got some hills and more technical stuff later today, which will be quite slow which will hopefully let me average close to 5Ks uh, per hour today. That's the general goal. So if I was to hike 10 hours, it'd be 50Ks. But I'm only really hiking sort of five to eight hours on the Lara Pinta, leaving plenty of time either end of the day before the sun rises and the sun sets to take some photos and kind of enjoy the scenery. So, alrighty, made it into Birthday Junction campsite. Gonna have 30 minutes here. Nice big map of the trail. Just filled out the logbook and got some water and whatnot. And I'm just testing to see if this USB charging station works. My watch has gained a couple percent, but it seems to be very yeah, hit or miss. Just turns off and on, off and on. So I'll try and get my watch up to 100 while I'm here. I've seen my first snake and it is freaking huge. Holy crap. Look at that. Wow. Come into beautiful Spencer Gorge and uh, now begins the slow climb up to the next high point. But it's stunning through here. These massive re red rock walls, bits of water everywhere, big trees. Incredible, really. So I've been climbing up this uh, gorge of sorts for like an hour now. And it just goes uphill. There's no trail. Super rocky. It's honestly a lot of fun. But obviously pretty exhausting as well. I think we're going to come out of it pretty soon. But I do know there's a bit more climbing to go. So let's go keep figuring my way out of this epic, epic location. Just when I think there's no way this is the trail. I must have made a wrong turn. You got a trail marker. And you realize, nope, that's just the Lara Pinta for you. <laughs> a lot of it does not look like a trail. But <clears throat> we're making progress. Made to the top of the mountain. Now we go down. And it looks <laughs> even steeper down this side. So it's going to be fun. <sighs> Finally made it down off that mountain and I've made it to uh, Fringe Lily, which is like a waterhole slash campground, just a makeshift one, not official. And um, just jumped into the waterhole, had a swim for the first time on the hike, which was really nice. Cold, cold water, um, but the water was relatively clear and um, there was a few other people around, so had a little, uh, little swim there. And now I'm gonna power on to get to uh, Hugh Gorge, which is my uh, campsite for the night. Oh, I just climbed up to Rocky Saddle. So this is where I've come from. All of these ridge lines and mountains, and then climbed up here, and this is where I'm going. It looks pretty similar. Beautiful, beautiful mountains, and uh, huge red cliffs. Made it to Hugh Junction. Um, I believe if you turn right here, there's a water hole further up the gorge. Um, so yes, I'm going this way to my campsite. So I've reached this spot where you can no longer hike. You actually have to get in the water to get over there. And I've been hearing about this from a bunch of hikers 
over the last few days. And um, they say it's very hard to do by yourself without getting your pack wet. So I'm gonna try and figure this out. It's extremely deep there, way, way deeper than I am tall. But there is this log here, which some people said if you just hang your pack on this, and then you can swim to this part here, which is quite shallow, grab your pack and then walk around over there. So that'll be my plan. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Oh, my poles fell in. Got across. I've been a bit worried about this little bit of water because everyone I've talked to said there's no way you can do it by yourself and um, you'll be stuck, you know, if you try by yourself, blah, 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 blah. We did it. it wasn't that hard. Let's get out of here. So much water. Wow. This is so beautiful through here. You can see how high the water levels get here. The, the waters must move real quick to just sort of smash all this debris against the trees. And there'd be flowing rivers through here when there's um, periods of heavy rain, which would just be wild to see. I would absolutely love to see that. Oh, wow. I've made it into camp, Hugh Gorge camp, just at the process of getting set up at the moment. And uh, there is working USB chargers, so that's nice. Tough day today, it really was. Um, ended up doing about 24 Ks, quite a bit of vert, lots of technical trail, lots of rocks, um, but also easily the most beautiful day today. Unreal, walking through Hugh Gorge just the last sort of hour or two has been incredible. And the sun sets on day four. This place is incredible. Day five begins. I woke up at six, so before the sun came up. Uh, as you can see, the sun's rising behind me. But um, yeah, starting early, I'm planning to do a big day today. I'm either gonna do about 31 Ks to Ellery Creek, which is my next drop box, or if I can push on to Serpentine Gorge Campsite, which is 41 Ks. So um, I wanna get a bit ahead of the schedule today. I think the hiking is a bit easier than the last couple of days, um, but I'll see how I go. I'm not too fast if I only get 30 Ks. That's sort of solid sesh. I'm gonna get going now. Let's do it. The sun is officially up and uh, yeah, the planes here are just lighting up. It's so beautiful. So far the trail has been really, really walkable, which is nice after the last couple of days. Um, but this is just pretty special. About seven Ks in, eight Ks in so far. Feeling really good this morning. Um, probably another seven or so to my first hut where I'm gonna have a bit of a break. Made it into Rocky Gully campsite. There's no um, shelter or anything here. Just a water tank and a toilet. That's all I need, I just need some water and then I'm gonna chill out for a little bit. So I'm just sitting here by the water tank. I'm gonna cook up my last two packets of meagering for a late breakfast. Got a few lollies left as well. Um, but I planned, well it's worked out that I planned it correctly. I get my, um, pick up my next food drop in 15 Ks at Ellery Creek. And um, this is the last of my food. So I'm gonna eat most of it now and then I'll be at a uh, dig in at the uh, food box. Um, I can't remember exactly what I packed in there, but there's a lot of good stuff. So yeah, it's been good. Just crossed over this last mountain range uh, before I get over to Ellery Creek South. It's freaking hot today. Very, very hot today. And um, I've covered almost 30 k's now, making a really good pace. But yeah, two k's till I get to Ellery Creek, which my, my drop box is there. Food, water, and then I'm feeling pretty good, all things considered. So I'm gonna push on for another 10 to 15 after that, which will make for a nice juicy 40 plus k's today. Ellery Creek. Whew, I am so cooked actually. Uh, my food drop is down here in the car park. Yes, get me down there. 
food. That's mine. Look at all my glorious food. <laughs> got a full restock, new gas, new battery pack. I got clothes if I wanted. I got all the food you can imagine. Now I gotta somehow fit it all into my pack. <laughs> but I gotta try to take it all because I'll be living like a king tonight. <laughs> okay, I've restocked. I've eaten a bunch of food. Feeling a bit refreshed, that's for sure. But yeah, 12 Ks left to get hit Serpentine Gorge and uh, I'll be done for day five. That'll put me at 42K, so massive day. But feel pretty good to get it done. Can't wait for dinner tonight. All right, let's do it. Little break in the dirt. Get him wherever I can, this tiny bit of shade. <laughs> so hot today. Forty one K's done. Only about one kilometer to go. So I've made it into camp by the way. Uh, so many people here at camp, so um, I've set up the tent and coming to bed and a storm is just rolling over, which is crazy. I didn't have the um the waterproof outer shell for the tent up and I started getting wet. I was like, what's going on? So I've just rushed and put that up and uh I should be good for the night. But I'll see you guys tomorrow for day six. Day six begins. Uh, I didn't record much at all last night because there are tons of people at camp and we were sharing the hut and it was, um, yeah, it was super nice. And so I didn't want to just sit there talking to the camera. I've got 30 Ks today. I'm super excited for it. I've got a few mountains to climb. And so I've started pretty early this morning. The sun hasn't even risen, as you can probably tell. But uh, yeah, looking forward to today. If I get up this first hill as the sun rises and we'll get a sick view, that's the plan. Look at these beautiful clouds. I've barely seen a single cloud so far this hike. And now they're showing off for sunrise. <laughs> oh. All right, I made it to the top of the mountain. I just sat down for about 45 minutes actually, watched the sunrise and uh, caught up on a few things. I have a bit of reception up here, which I haven't had for a few days. Uh, but uh, just for a view, I don't know if you can see all the ranges, man. Oh, it's incredible. <laughs> Views don't get much better than this. Um, but yeah, 4Ks in, pretty much summited the first peak of the day, and I feel great. So, I'm gonna keep powering on, see what the rest of day six has in store. Just coming down off uh, the Counts Point Ridge now, my first big climb, and I think I'm about 5Ks out from Serpentine Chalet, which is the next campsite. So, I'll get some water there and, and then push on. But Ah, it's the hardest part, these mountains, but it's just the best part as well. It's so beautiful. Just made it into Serpentine Chalet campsite. Um, rocked up and there was probably 30 people in the, in the hut. <laughs> so I've just been tiptoeing around those guys. They're doing a day walk, I think. But I've cooked up a feed, got some nigarine. Got some berries and muesli. Um, this is the last point that I can get water from a tank in uh, for 30 kilometers. So I'm gonna basically fill up all my water containers here um, because I'll be camping up on the ridge tonight and then I won't have water till halfway through tomorrow. So I'll have to carry as much as I can. Hopefully I get some, good more, some more good views of Savo, bring you guys along for that. And um, I'm ready to roll. I'm about to pass through the Inalanga Pass. You can pause and read that if you want uh, some more information about what that means. The weather's been super kind today. Overcast for a lot of it. Um, it's been a little muggy, but a lot cooler than yesterday. Yeah, no rain yet, so it's been perfect conditions. I'm gonna pass through here. Uh, this gap in the ranges, which looks spectacular. And uh, we'll be up to a new, a new ridge soon. I'm just heading down to Waterfall Gully, which is like a makeshift campsite. Um, but I'm not going to stay there tonight. I'm going to push on and, and find the high camp. So making good progress. 26 k's in. Not too far to go today. 
some here in Waterfall Gully. I'm assuming that this would be the so-called waterfall when it rains heavy. It's a bit of water in there. That'd be spectacular to see in flow. <laughs> oh, well, not staying here long. I'm gonna climb way up onto this ridge. This is a technical climb up this ridge. So much fun, but so rocky. And I've come down from that valley there. Got a ways to go as well. Uh, it's really fun. You can see sort of the trail, you know, come up there, zigzagging all the way up and just climbing rocks. It's incredible, really. But this is even a trail. I'm back on top of the world. Wow. <laughs> this might be one of the best views so far. Wow. Incredible. All right, one, one kilometer to camp. Let's get there, I'm wrecked. So I'm about a thousand meters off. I made it to the, the campsite here. There's a few tents set up here. I've got my little site. And um, yeah, I'm gonna set up now and get ready for food. Let's do that. Perfect. All right, time to get some food in me. Let's cook dinner. That's me done for the day. I am fed. I'm all set up and um, I'm ready to sleep. It's pretty windy out there and I think there's a storm brewing so it could be a wild night, but either way, um, keen to get into Ormiston Gorge tomorrow, get my food box, go to the cafe and have a bit of a shorter day as well. Good night. All right, I've just woken up. If you look outside, the sky looks absolutely terrible. <laughs> Um, it was forecasted to rain last time I checked, which was a while ago, but um, I think we're going to get wet today. Uh, either way, I had a good sleep and um, stayed dry due to my beautiful tent from Outdoor 24. I'm going to head into Ormiston Gorge this morning, so 12Ks till I get to the cafe and my food drop. I'm very excited for that, and it's mostly downhill, so even if we get wet, um, yeah, should be fun. Let's get packed up. And let's go. Day seven. Day seven? Day seven begins. It's been seven days on trail. That's crazy. I'm about two kilometers out from Ormiston Gorge and my coffee. I've passed so many people this morning and they're all raving about the food and the coffee. Uh, so I'm pretty keen to get there. A little bit of rain at the moment, but um, it's not too bad. And it's so green and lush through this area that the rain just makes it even more pretty. So um, it's been nice, it's been a nice morning. Keen to get into Ormiston though, that's for sure. I've made it to the cafe. I'm about to buy all of the food that's ever existed and then get my drop box and get all the food from there as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> had a great little stop off at Ormiston Gorge, had a uh, focaccia and a coffee, definitely uh, hit the spot. Um, chatted to a few other hikers there as well, shout out to Ian, um, he's a fan of the YouTube videos, good to catch up with you mate. Actually the first bloke I've met from Perth on this entire hike, so that was cool. Uh, but I've got my ice cream and um, I've got at least another 10 k's to hit. Pink River campsite today. Feeling re-energized after a good break and some more food. So I am happy man and uh, I'm gonna power on to Finca River now. Let's do it. Just walking across the Fink River, which as far as I know is sort of the uh, biggest and most full river in this part of Northern Territory. It's quite a bit of water here where I am. The Fink River campsite is a few hundred meters away, so pretty stoked with that. Let's 
All right, I've got into Fink River Camp. It's only like 2.30 p.m., so it'll be my earliest finish, but um, that's fine. Happy to, uh, to chill out here, have a bit of a relaxing afternoon and recover. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna set up in the, in the camp now and settle in for the night. Okay, another day done. I'm in bed, had dinner, I'm all set up. Doesn't seem to be any mice at this hut, which I'm very excited about. And um, two days left on the trail. Hell yeah, so excited. Body feels good. The last two days are not too hard. Got 26 Ks tomorrow. And um, yeah, pretty keen to get in. So time to sleep and we'll be back at it tomorrow. Good morning on day eight. It was so cold last night, the coldest night by far. I planned my sleep setup around, you know, predicting around zero degrees um, according to the forecast and I was cold in it. So it was, it was definitely below zero degrees. We've woken up to this fog everywhere. The sun's just coming through now, so we're getting a bit of warmth. I'm sharing the hut with um, another West Aussie lady, so fun time at the at the hut. <laughs> I'm chatting about West Aussie things, but um, we're just packing up now. Hopefully, going to warm up because it's just been ridiculously cold. As you can see, like all the platforms are just soaking wet, all the dew. Um, but survived the night. Going to climb a big mountain this morning so that I warm us up, and I've got 26 k's to hit Red Bank Gorge. <sighs> Let's do it. Fog. Wow. <sighs> so yeah, the plan today is to get to Red Bank Gorge uh, campsite, which technically is the end of the Lara Pinta. Um, but you do have to go climb Mount Sonda and then return to Red Bank Gorge to complete the trail. So the plan is, yep, get to Red Bank tonight and then tomorrow go hike Mount Sonda and then return to Red Bank Gorge as my official finish, which will be on day nine. So pretty pumped. I'm gonna be at the end point tonight and then I've just got one epic mountain climb to finish the whole trek. And I've heard the views from Mount Sonda are pretty awesome. It's about 1400 meters above sea level. So a pretty big mountain by uh, my standards, coming from Western Australia. Body feels great, so ready to power through and uh, get in today nice and early. Let's go. Look at all that fog at the base of the ranges. Really cool. Such a cool view, walking alongside this all morning. Wow. I just had to stop here on this hill. Look at the view of Mount Sonda. Ah, oh, it's incredible. What a morning. Oh, wow. Okay, the climb up, the big peak for today begins. I'm already a little way up. And uh, I think I'll be going way up there. But I've heard that the views of Mount Sonda and the rest of the ranges from up here are really incredible, so. Feeling good, gonna power up the hill and probably sit up top for a bit, enjoy the views. Okay, made to the summit of this mountain and um, just heading down now. Look at the view in front of me. That's Mount Sonda, big, big boy. 1400 meters above sea level, a bit taller than the one I'm on now. And uh, we're climbing that tomorrow to finish the hike. But I've got about five uh, Ks left till I get to Rocky Bar campsite which is, yeah, the one campsite I'll stop at today before finishing. All right, I've made it into Rocky Bar Gap campsite. There's no um, shelter or anything here. Just filled up my water. I'm gonna stop in here for probably 15. Don't really need, need a break, but I may as well. Got all the time in the world. And then uh, last 10K is to finish the day.
Okay, I made it into Red Bank Gorge campsite. Uh, just finished setting up and uh, hanging out with a few people that are also staying there that have also just finished the Lara Pinta. I'm not quite finished, finished it yet. I've got to climb Mount Sonder tomorrow morning, which is about a 16 kilometer return hike um, with like 700 meters of vert. Uh, I've just set up, as I said, and I'm gonna walk down to Red Bank Gorge. Got my camera, I'm just gonna have a Gonna check it out while I'm here and then um, I'll have an early night because uh, yeah I'll be getting up at like 3 a.m. or something <laughs> to, to summit Mount Sonder at sunrise so a lot of water here in um, Red Bank Gorge yeah I might come back here tomorrow after I finish the layer pinter and go for a swim <laughs> pretty cool spot either way just to check out climb out under the sunrise but it's so cold it has to be negative zero again and I don't have I don't have the I don't have the warm weather gear for this but I'm just gonna man up and I'm gonna finish the freaking Larapinta at sunrise and it's gonna be epic just making a coffee and then I'm gonna get moving alrighty let's finish section 12 of the Larapinta trail Mount Sonda 7.2 k's to a summit, about 16, 15, 16 k return, and that's it. That's the layer of printed done. Okay, I'm five k's in. It's been, um, as you would expect, it's just been up, up, up for five k's. But um, the trail's in good condition, all things considered. It's a pretty rugged mountain, and I'm pretty happy with how good the trail is, so making good time. And there's a bit of glow in the horizon now. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, yeah, pretty close to the top. I'll make it up there well before sunrise. Wow, that's where I'm going. Up the chippy top there. Look at this view. Holy crap, what in the world is this? that is it for my Lara Pinter adventure. I've just set up camp again here at Red Bank Gorge. Um, I've got to stay here one more night before I'm picked up tomorrow and drop back to Alice Springs. It's been an incredible journey, that's for sure. Um, end to end on the Lara Pinter, tick that off the bucket list and uh, I couldn't be happier. The hike was one of the most beautiful and challenging I've ever done and so different to any of the other long distance hikes I've um, walked. So highly recommend it if you guys are interested at all in coming to the Red Centre, hiking 230 kilometres across the McDonald Ranges. It, um, it's definitely an experience you won't forget. Thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, appreciate, appreciate you tuning in and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.